my name is Eileen Pires and I'm an astrophysicist and this is what happens to the moon's appearance as it revolves around the earth. So the moon's appearance is a little, uh, it's easy to understand but there is a couple of things that you need to know and is that the, the moon is actually not rotating uh, around the earth in the same plane as it is with the sun. So if we were to think of here is the earth and here is the plane where the sun is the moon is not rotating in this plane. The moon has actually a five degree tilt. And this causes the moon to have this uh, ascending motion and descending motion. So now I can talk about what's happening to the moon as we look at it uh, revolve. So let's say that we're looking this direction. So here's the sunlight. So clearly we're not seeing any of the part that's being lit. So what we see is the new moon. Okay, now what happens when we look at it is about 45 degrees. So we now see some of it, most of it dark with a little edge. And this is called the waxing crescent. Now what happens when it is at 90 degrees? Then we see a half, and this is the first quarter. All right, so what happens next is that we're seeing most of the side that's lit with a little bit of darkness in it. And this is the waxing gibbons. Sorry about that. Um, and then we look at it at 180 degrees and we're seeing the moon being fully lit and this is a full moon. So what's happening after this? You have to think of it now as in a descending mode. So you have to flip yourself 90 degrees. So now we're looking at it backwards. So when it comes here, even though you're thinking that you're looking at it uh, mostly lit from this diagram, you're actually look at it from 90 degrees. So you see mostly dark with a little bit of a crescent. And this is called the wanning, uh, the wanning gibbons, I'm sorry. And then you look at it again from this position and instead of you thinking that is the same way as the first quarter, it's the opposite side because you're 90 degrees flipped. And this is the third quarter. And the same thing happens with the last one. So it's sort of symmetrical, it's exactly like the waxing crescent, but it's on the other side. And this is the winding crescent. And this is what's happening as the moon revolves around the Earth. My name is Eileen Perez, and I'm an astrophysicist, and this is how does the moon look as it revolves around the Earth.